Porsche 944 wiring harness from an early car. I'm going to go over the different runs and the connectors that, uh, and the devices they go to. So obviously at this end is the DME, and this is, on an early car, uh, the DME is located beneath the steering column, so first thing you have are these two little uh, arms that come off. This one here goes to the cluster. This yellow and black wire is the tachometer signal, and the black wire, I believe, is like a fuel load or something for the shift light or for the economy gauge, so it just, uh, I think, I don't know, it, it definitely goes to that um, tachometer cluster. This one goes to an altimeter sensor, and that's really only if you have a U.S. car, and that just detects if, what altitude you're at. It's in an on-off circuit. If uh, you're at sea level, it's as near as unplugged. It's the same thing. It will close that connection at a certain altitude to tell the car to uh, lean out a little bit. So, I'm not sure what this goes to, but it's kind of a funny two-pin. I believe it might have been for an O2, like heated O2 or something, because this has some PO modification to it. As you can see, this is the normal wire for the O2 sensor, but it's been modified. And this was the previous owner decided to install a one-pin weather pack connector, which is actually pretty, pretty nice because you can install whatever you want. But your car will probably be different unless a like-minded person has come across it. So going up, that's that. It then branches off, and I'm going to come back to this at the end. This is kind of a special connector that's a little bit... It's pretty important, actually. So, obviously this is where the loom passes through the firewall. It has the grommet pretty much not built in, but it's pretty far on there. This is the one of the more major clusters, and this is where the reference sensors go. Now, obviously mine have been banged up a bit. I had some issues with the connectors and I needed to get home one day so I just did a quick job with some butt connectors and cut the harness. Yeah, I have a different harness in my car now. This was a harness that I knew was coming out of the car soon anyway. But this is where the reference sensors would go and they will have a three pin connector kind of like this. So, just a Bosch three pin. These are the grounds. This one goes to the bell housing, the big one where that ground strap comes. And this one is next to it about an inch away. This is a high power ground and this is probably a low power ground, I assume for like signals and sensors, whereas this one is for more sinking current for the coil and the injectors and whatnot, because the DME grounds those to power them. Up here is the, let me untangle this, the injector harness, just pretty straightforward. Each of these are a two pin EV1 style connector and at this point, the rest of it goes under the intake manifold. That's why it's a little bit discolored here. And these go to your sensors and some other uh, some other stuff. Like this one goes to the auxiliary air valve, which is the idle valve. It's two pin. That gets 12 volts whenever the fuel rail gets 12 volts. So this one goes to the water temperature sensor that reports the temperature to your uh, little gauge in the cabin not the actual DME. The DME does not see this pin. So, the DME does see, however, this connector. This is actually the, uh, there's a separate water temperature sensor around near the front of the head, and it'll be obvious because the actual sensor for that is blue as well, so it's the easiest to identify. And that's, what, that's how the DME sees how much to enrich the mixture based on the coolant temperature. So here, this is from an NA car, so it's three pins. This is the throttle position sensor. This unplugs um, below your throttle body. On a turbo car, it'll be six pin. The last sensor, or not sensor, but the last uh, part that the DME sees is this AFM clip. And that's five pins with only four pins installed, and that goes right to your AFM. Kind of makes sense, these are all in the same area. This last run here is for the oil pressure sender, and that runs down across your timing cover and down through the front of the car and onto the side near the oil cooler and oil filter. And there's just little spade connectors, the, not spade, sorry, little uh, female ring connectors. So, And if you look closely, these all have different colors. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like blue and blue and black, blue and white. And uh, like, for example, this water temperature one is green and blue, or green and or blue and yellow or something. I said I'd come back to this at the end, 
This is an important connection because this is what actually links the DME's harness to the rest of the car, uh, namely the fuse, the fuse panel, because that's what, you know, you need to have 12 volts, you need to have grounds, you need to have uh, signals going into certain things, namely the DME relay, because that's in your relay panel, and that's obviously related to the DME. So these have different connections that interface the DME's and the engine's workings with the rest of the car. So I have over here something. This is actually what it looks like on the car's side of this connection. So you can see, the reason I think this is interesting is because there are some connections here that maybe you might miss. So, for example, this one, this red with a yellow stripe going into the corner here, that is 12 volts to the DME from the DME relay. Um, but if you look at it on the side that goes into the actual loom, it's actually two coming out there, red with a uh, yellow stripe. That's because there are two 12 volt pins on the DME, so it takes two. Uh, another interesting one here is, let's see, I think it's this, the one, I'm trying to I'm trying to think, I know it's this one here next to the coil wire. I think it's this black wire. No, maybe it's this, uh, Anyway, I, I, it's whatever the one is. I think it's this blue and blue and red one here, next to this green wire. So this one is the fuel injector power, which uh, comes from the DME relay. It powers the fuel injectors, and so on this one though, it comes out, and there it is again next to the green, between the green and the uh, red and yellow, and there's actually a black wire coming out alongside it. Those are two separate wires. And what that is, is the 12 volts for this idle valve. So this idle valve gets 12 volts from the, uh, from the fuel rail, so the injector power also powers the idle valve. Kind of an interesting, I think it was like an afterthought or something. Hey, we forgot to make it a 10 pin connector, you know, whatever. So anyway, the last little intricacy that I think is interesting, that I have no idea why, is on the on the car side, there is two green wires coming out of this uh, coil ground. So what this is is the DME grounds the ignition coil to fire it, and it does that you know every firing event. So what happens is it it, um, it grounds it out actually through here. So the DME initiates that ground and it sinks it, and that grounds this pin, which then in the car grounds this one, and then that goes to the coil. It's a different harness. So. If you remember, there is no connection on this entire harness that goes to the ignition coil. So that actually goes to the ignition coil through this connector. Now the interesting thing is, there's a second green wire coming out, a thinner green wire, and that actually goes to the tachometer cluster. And I'm not sure what it does. It might be for the shift light, but it's definitely uh, interesting. And there is a green wire that does go into the back on that connector on the back of the tack. But it is not for the tack signal, but it is for something else. So those are some of the major connections. The rest of these are just like your water temperature gauge. There's that uh, green and blue. You can see that in the middle on the top row. You have your, remember the blue and white, blue and black from the oil pressure sender? Those are right there, those two. And the middle one is power for the, let's see, I can't remember. I, oh, the middle one is fuel pump power, the very the very middle one out of all nine. And the rest are things like this, this uh, red and black is, I forget, but, um, I think this is like ignition switch, but I'll, I'll post a chart in the description where you can see what these all do. So hopefully that um, that was good information for those of you who were looking to find out more. There's not a lot of objective information available. It's just a lot of, uh, you know, I don't know. I just um, <clears throat> I thought I'd make a good video. I didn't see anything else on YouTube that really had all this in it. So.